here you can see I have a loop that is about two bars plus a little bit of change. The first thing to do is to make sure that the timing of your performance is all in sync. So this one is a drum loop, it's a conga loop, so I'm gonna turn on uh, flex time and really important to use the right algorithm. So I'm gonna turn on rhythmic and I'm just gonna make sure that my main beats are aligned. I can see that that's a little bit off. That one's a little bit off. I'll align this one here and just make sure that everything gets more or less aligned. Okay, now that that's looking good, I will turn off flex time. And oh, one more thing, I'll just double check to make sure there's no silence at the beginning. That's very important also. Now, for audio to loop seamlessly outside of Logic Pro, basically what we need to do is we need to graft the tail of the audio onto the beginning. Within Logic Pro, if you have a loop section and you just play it over and over, it's going to sound just fine. But that's because in the background, Logic is actually um, mixing the ending with the beginning. So what we need to do is first I'll go to the right locator. And I'm going to create a new track using Option, Command, and N. I'm just going to create a new audio track. And I'm going to call that uh, Tail. Now, I'm going to cut this section here using Command-T. And or rather, I'm going to split it using Command-T. I'm going to cut it using Command-X go to the beginning of this tail audio and I'll paste it. Next what I'll do is I'll add a fade here. I can do that using the fade tool. So T to open up this menu and then um, just use the fade tool which is A. Alternatively this can be done here in the menu. I'm just going to add a fade out like that. And then right here on this main loop, I'm going to add a fade in of one just to make sure that any kind of um, non-zero crossing or anything like that is not going to result in a uh, click sound. Now that I've got my tail at the beginning, I'm going to render this into one audio file. And the way I'll do that is by selecting both of these audio regions. Then I'm going to select my glue tool. I'm going to click on either one of them and it's going to ask me if I want to perform a mix down of audio regions. I'm going to choose stereo because my original source material was stereo. And voila, you see that I have one perfectly merged audio file that will be a perfectly loopable audio file that I can use in any program outside of Logic Pro. And that is how you create a seamless loop in Logic Pro.